What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lewis and on today's video we are going to be reviewing the all new Track Theorem Pearl. This is one that I'm really excited about because the guy who owns the pro shop, John, uh, for JB Bowling Supply, he was trying to get me to drill the Track Theorem, the hybrid, for so long and I just, I never did. Um, but now, with the, so the Pearl, so now I'm a little excited because it's just a continuation on that line. So John, I hope I like this ball. It looks really good. Um, but before we get into the detail, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're on the way to 50,000 subscribers, and we can get there with your help. As always, coolweek.com, promo code NAPOLIS10. Uh, link down below in the description to the chamois. Please buy one. Uh, the ball and the ball spinner that the ball is sitting on. So let's talk a little bit about the core first. It features the MC squared asymmetrical core, which in 15 pounds is an RG of 2.47, a max differential of 0.046, and a PSA of 0.017. And then wrapped around that core is the Prime Response Pearl HK22 cover stock. When we talk about the layout, it's the same layout that I've been using on a lot of my ASIMs re recently, being 30 by 5 by 30. Um, I don't really need the asymmetric cores to be drilled that strong, so I've been going with that 5-inch pin, and I've been really surprised. Uh, this is what I'm excited for. Aesthetically, I think it looks good. It has like a 3-tone blue or a 2-tone blue with the yellow logos, and from the videos I've already seen of people like uh, Charles Hutcherson throw it, Luke Rosedahl throw it, um, and Sarah Bowles, Sarah Rutherford is her last name. Uh, all three of them have made this ball look really good. All three of them throw the ball very different. So this is one that I'm really excited for. We're gonna be here at South Point on lane one on a fresh, typical house shot. We'll see you here on the lanes. All right, just got done warming up. Uh, first shot here, reviewing the Track Theorem Pearl. We're standing at about 25. Notice the new shoes. Video is on the channel if you guys wanna check out the new shoes. All right, so that's a pretty bad first shot. I, it's the first shot all day that I've missed right, uh, at least in warm up. So we're gonna reset this rack and not shove it right. I mean, it's a five inch pin with a shiny pearl cover on the fresh. So I gotta really be careful where I project this ball to. All right, so let's just make sure we don't get it right. Uh, again, fresh house shot, five inch pin pearl ASIM, also breaking in new shoes. A lot of stuff uh, going on right now. Uh, let's show you guys here a much better shot. There we go. That's going to strike. Yeah, I mean, like right off my hand, I, <laughs> Chris is going like this. Right off my hand, I already knew. Uh, it's good. It's strong for sure. I don't really want to knock the shine off of this ball because of where it picks up in the lane. I think it's good. It, it changes direction, but it's not angular. It, it's... It's a really strong asymmetrical pearl. And just like other ASIM pearls that I've thrown in the past that are in this category, like it reminds me a lot of like the DNA coil, right? If you remember that ball, that's one that I really liked. Strong, rolly, changes direction. Uh, yeah, so let's throw a couple more shots here before we ultimately decide where it fits in the bag. All right, so the goal here is just to repeat that last shot because that was really good. I could tell right off my hand uh, that that was going to be a really good one. That's a little right, but it'll come back. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of room. I can get it right, but I can't like shove it right. Um, it's not angular, I don't think at all. It's, it's, it's quick-ish, definitely not angular for me, what I'm seeing, even with a five inch pin. I think that just three shots into this video, plus the warm up. Knowing what I know now, I might have even drilled it a little bit stronger. Yeah, so we're three shots in, and one I threw out the window, that one don't count. Two have been close, and they both struck. So we're just going to keep, uh, keep building on that. I, I really like what I'm seeing out of this Theorem Pearl. Yeah, fell off my shot. Again, I'm still trying. Huh? Oh, Chris says he likes that ball. Uh, Chris Stones. Like I said, I'm still trying to break in these shoes, so they're still a little, still a little tight, still a little tacky. So I'm still getting used to my footwork, but this ball, I think this ball's good. I don't know if it's like the best ace and pearl I've ever thrown. I'm not saying that, uh, but it, it is really good. All right, yeah, so we're on a nice little three bagger, getting more comfortable. I really like this ball. I'm gonna have to compare it to the effect and see what that looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, nice three bagger followed by a Samstown seven. Um, is it as good as the hammer effect? I'm not sure. Uh, the hammer effect is like, I told you, like one of my favorite balls out this year. It's definitely closer to an effect than it is a ball that maybe I wouldn't like, meaning I don't hate this ball. I like it. I'm just trying to figure out when I would use this over the effect, if that makes sense. All right, so South Point 7 got to me. Good shot. I'm not too mad at that. I'd rather 7 pin than uh, Big 4, obviously. Yeah, I, I cannot get it right like that. If I shove it right or if I miss it at the bottom, that one I kind of did both, it's going to five count. Um, it's not really a ball issue. That was more of a operator issue, if that makes sense. So the rack's already resetting. Just again, don't miss right. I'm on the fresh. I don't think I ever throw this on the fresh, especially with a five inch pin. Four inch pin for sure, I think could be an option on the fresh, but now I really have to make sure to get it up the lane. All right, let, let's not miss a million, right? I wish I would have done this not on the fresh, but it's too late. We're here now. Yeah, maybe I will bring this to league just to try it out a little bit further on not the fresh, because I think that I'm experiencing a little bit of over under, or not really over under, just under. If I get it right, it just bails. It's never really jumped off the spot, which is a good thing to see, which tells me that I think that this ball can be really good. I just feel like I haven't thrown it at the right time yet. All right, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about this theorem pearl. I, I think it's good. I, I don't think it's bad. Again, I just wish I would have thrown it more at the right situation scenario. So I got that one in uh, and there was no hold at all. Again, that's more of a testament to me missing in, but also uh, if I would have thrown this in transition a little bit more like into game one or end of game one into game two, there might be a little bit more hold there from some oil that's pushed down, uh, but it's just not there right now. Again, I apologize. I should have done this not on the fresh, but it is what it is. It's too late for that now. Uh, so this, I'm gonna move everything in, kind of try to shape it a little bit and see what it looks like. All right, so from a little bit straighter, we know they look good. I was standing like around 22, 23, keeping it up the lane. We already know that it looked good from there. Let's move everything left and just see if I can get this to be a little bit quicker down lane. Yay or nay. There we go. Oh, did not kick out the seven. But now that I moved into a different zone, it kind of appeared to be a little bit quicker. Let's try that again. Maybe not get it as far right. Uh, it was just a test shot to see, but it did recover. So that tells me that this ball is strong. All right, let's hit our mark from that same spot uh, and then really see if it's gonna look pretty good from further left. Yay or nay. Oh my God, seven pin again. I think I'm trying to create too much angle through the front. So I'm gonna move my feet back, right? That was just a test to see. I see that it's coming back and that's a good thing. Again, this is really just wrong ball, wrong time on the lane. So we're gonna move right and I think it's gonna look pretty good and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, let's move right a little bit, get into a good spot, throw a few strikes from here and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I, it's weird because I haven't struck a lot in this video, but I like where the ball is hooking and I like the motion it gives me, which again, it just leads me to believe that it's the wrong time, meaning I'm not gonna throw this ball in the fresh. Strong asymmetric pearl, it hooks at the right part of the lane. It does the thing it's supposed to do. Yeah, I missed in on that shot, but it just, it does the thing. It hooks where it's supposed to hook. Again, this video is more of a product of throwing the ball at the wrong time. I shouldn't have done this on the fresh. I should have thrown like a solid on the fresh first to break it down a little bit, uh, but I like it. Overall, I think it's a pretty good ball. Is it the best asymmetric ball on the market? No. Is it a bad asymmetric pearl? No. It's a good ball. So I forgot that I was gonna start adding some two-handed shots uh, to, the, to my videos. So we're gonna go back and throw this Track Theorem Pearl two-handed. 
Uh, to, and then let me know in the comments, guys. Do you want to see more shots two-handed? Yes or no? Let's make a good shot here. I threw that as bad as I possibly could have, and it still struck. So that's a good thing. We're going to really disregard that one for the greater good. We're going to make sure we get it right, come around it a little bit more. All right, guys, track Theorem Pearl two-handed. I mean, honestly, me throwing this Theorem Pearl uh, two-handed is only making me like it more. I liked it with my thumb in one-handed, and I think I might even like it a little bit more so far two-handed. But let's see, let's make another good shot here. Yeah, it's, this, this ball's good. And it might, like I said, it might be a little bit better two-handed. My ball speed's a little bit higher. My rev rate's way higher. But let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of this one-handed, two-handed stuff, uh, yay or nay, I'll throw one more shot here two-handed. We're three for three, or maybe four for four. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so this is going to be the last shot of the video here. I've seen everything I need to see. The Theorem Pearl is a good ball. One-handed, throw it like me. Two-handed, throw it like me. This is a good ball. Oh, see, those are the hits that I'm talking about that I would never get one-handed. I don't want to end it on that. I want to end it on a more flush shot, so I'm going to throw one more. Yeah, that last hit right there is exactly why I need to just convert to two-handed because I never get that hit one-handed. So let's make a good shot here, wrap it up. Oh, get the five out. Yeah, so I haven't missed yet uh, throwing that ball two-handed. Uh, so this is now really going to be the end of the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Please let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more two-handed shots, yay or nay?